kits. This is something that might be really cool, but it's not something you want to try on your own or without a licensed professional and someone who really, really knows you well, because this is, you know, this is big stuff. We're in the beautiful Exuma Islands in the Bahamas. We flew here to stay at the Staniel Key Yacht Club, where they have oceanfront rooms, sharks you can pet, and a fleet of 18-foot boats you can take out to explore the pristine waters. Today is a very exciting day because we're taking our daughter Kayliana, who's six years old, scuba diving in the open ocean for the very first time. You ready, Kaylee? Yeah. Yeah? Are you a little bit nervous? That's cool. <laughs> Let's go, come dive with us. Okay, so Kaylee, I want to tell you a story. You want to hear a story? When I was a kid, about your age, I was looking through a scuba diving magazine that my dad had, and I saw a big picture, a full page picture, of a little girl just about your age. She was wearing a tiny little scuba tank, and she was diving on the Great Barrier Reef. It was beautiful blue water, and there was coral reef everywhere, and I thought it was the most magical picture I'd ever seen. Yeah. Is that a true story? It's a dead true story, and I, took it to my dad, I'm like, dad, 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 can I please go do this, can I please, please, please go do this? And he didn't let me. And I promise you that that picture is what made me what I am today. Because I saw that and I thought, I want to do that. I want to be that person and I want to go and have that experience. But I always promised myself that if I have a kid, then I'd try to do the same. <laughs> I'd try to do the same thing for them. Why are you crying? Because this is my life out here. And I want to share it with you. No. So, <laughs> did you want to go diving with me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I got you your own little scuba tank. Same one we've been practicing with. She's been practicing. This isn't dead cold. We've, we've been working in the pool together. You know how to clean your mask. You know how to do everything. We're about to hit the rocks. <laughs> no, 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 we're fine here. Yeah, it is going to pull up on the anchor a little bit. Okay, I don't remember the last time I cried. So if I'm going to do it on camera, I may as well give it some context. Being a father was a hard thing for me to wrap my head around, but it's become the joy of my life, especially now that she's old enough to share my world with her. Embrace these moments, people. Now I'm crying. <laughs> Take two on that. <laughs> uh, are you ready to go, mate? Yeah, all right. Let's let's get in the water now. Hey, so just for anybody questioning, it's slack tide. We're in a maximum 10 feet of water that I'm gonna take it down into. I am a trained scuba diving professional. I've been teaching people to dive for over 20 years. This is something that I've been training her to do. Hey, what do you think of scuba? Awesome. It's awesome. Do you want your own scuba gear? Okay. She's never done in the ocean, but Kaylee's ready for it. Okay? And mom sends right. off. I agree, Kaylee's ready for it. All right. So, Kaylee, what we're going to see today is coral reef. Now, the rules are we don't touch the coral, okay? Oh, why? Because uh, some coral can be stingy. <laughs> so, it's really pretty, but often the really beautiful things underwater can also kind of hurt you. The other rule is you're going to stay right next to me, holding my hand, okay? So we're going to stay in contact the entire time. Uh, she's using a little pony cylinder, which is enough air for her at that depth for probably about 40 minutes. My setup is identical. It's a great little speed rig, just to be able to quickly jump in the water. Make sure I'm turned on. I can help with that. <laughs> <laughs> Mom can help with what? <laughs> what? Oh, y'all can hear that? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. Mom can help with what? Oh, nothing. We're going to start her off right. Where does your pressure gauge go? Do you remember? Right over on this side. You're going to tuck it into your cummerbund down here. Whenever I see professional divers, even like people on TV and stuff, and they've got these pressure gauges just dangling they around. They don't want it to hit the coral. Yeah, I mean, oh it my get gosh, trapped I'm... on coral. Um, <laughs> they, like a fish could bite it. Anything could happen. I'm like, what are you doing? Protect your gear. Are you ready? Okay, she's my baby. I'll take care of her. Okay, so mom's left on the boat and I'm getting a little emotional because he's been talking about this since we met like, God, 14 years ago. He's been talking about someday if we ever have kids, like I can't wait to take her out or, or him out scuba diving and this is the moment and she's only six and mama has to just, I don't know, I'm like overwhelmed. Um, like I'm happy, but it's like emotional. My little baby's growing up. So now I just have to let them do their thing. 
<laughs> first he's crying, now I'm crying. Everyone's first scuba dive is a little bit awkward, and I want this one to be fun for Kaylee. So my job as her instructor and her father is to not push her too hard and keep her safe while working on the knowledge and training that will set her up for a lifetime of safe diving. At this point in her training, she should be able to clear her mask, equalize her ears, breathe comfortably through her regulator and communicate with me. If she feels uncomfortable or shows signs of distress, then we'll go back to the boat, no big deal. I want her to have good memories of this experience. We're now about 10 minutes into the dive and Kaylee's starting to get cold, which makes sense. Kids get cold easily and the water here, although it's warm, it's not the middle of summer. So that's fine. Time to go back to the boat, but we had one last treat in store. <laughs> hey, do you know what that is? Do you remember the name for the Hawaiian fish that you learned? <laughs> You remember? That's it. Look up, take your regulator out. It's not for mommy. Ah, <laughs> oh, what was yeah. that like, you guys? We saw the hula hula nuka nuka. Um, a plaha. A plaha. Hey, I'm so proud of you, dude. You did your first open water scuba dive. You're a diver. That's epic. What are you doing, Kaylee? Showing mommy's feet with the water and things like that. <laughs> okay, so what did you see down there? Did Shai saying it three times fast? <laughs> so good. So good. Oh, so happy I got to dive with my daddy today. You guys were so cute. Now you know he's been dreaming of this since before you were born. What? Before you were born, this is a dream come true for daddy. How does that make you feel? Good. Yeah. Do you think you're gonna dive a lot in really warm places with daddy? Really warm. Places. Mm, really warm places. My daddy said it's warm, but that's but that's not true. <laughs> Talking about me? Ah, you're gonna <laughs> was it? Was it everything? I love you so much. Mm. Oh. You did so good. Today meant so much to me. I've been dreaming about this my entire life, ever since I was a little kid. Um, just beyond words. I'm gonna go have a little cry. Love you guys. Chat to you soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> this trip was a surprisingly emotional one, and I'm super excited that Kaylee enjoyed her very first scuba dive. Now, the Bahamas is one of my favorite places in the world. It's such a beautiful country with so many underwater adventures to offer. I plan on being back really soon to dive more with Kaylee and Aria and offer you more knowledge on diving, sharks, and marine life. So be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.